What's going on everybody? Harry here and your Sacramento Kings win. They beat the Oklahoma City Thunder 131-110 in a game that your Kings, who are still chasing a plan, I believe, desperately needed. Desperately needed because we're playing a team that was out a bunch of players and uh, basically the bottom of the barrel in the West, a team that they're playing. The, I believe it's the worst team in the West right now, if I'm not mistaken. Now, them or the Rockets. Uh, it might be the Rockets. Either way. Bottom of the barrel West team. Uh, they were Kings were losers of four straight previous to this. You know they made the big trade for Sabonis and uh, and company Dante Divincenzo and, and company, and uh, we just found ourselves on a four-game losing streak against you know some pretty solid squads. Nonetheless, desperately needed this win. Puts the Kings at 23 wins. Puts us three game three full games behind the uh, Pelicans right now, who look pretty damn good right now from that trade for McCollum. Now, I will say these Kings um, had me a little bit worried because we were... First, we came out hot out of the gate. Trey Lyles was hitting threes, and everything was great. Something I expected. We're playing a depleted team, a bottom-of-the-barrel team, a team that's obviously trying to tank. And, you know, we're be beating them up pretty good, and then they catch up, and then we're tied. And then the at halftime, we're, I mean, close to the half, we're down, and then Harrison Barnes ties it. I'm like, oh, here we go. We're tied with a really bad squad. We're basically 100% minus Holmes, who not getting a lot of play anyways but we're basically 100 percent versus a team that's trying to tank they're down players uh, shy is getting whatever he wants and we're tied with him at the halftime so it was it wasn't looking good at first but it turned out all right you know we we pulled away in the fourth i think in the third quarter they turned it seemed like they turned the ball over about six straight times six straight possessions i was I couldn't believe what I was watching. I'm like, oh, the, the tank is real right now. The tank is for sure real. Um, and they're in a slightly better position to do that right now. Uh, so your Kings win. They took care of business. I ended up winning by 21 points, as they should. Trey Lyles balled out. had 20 plus. I think he had 23 points. De'Aaron Fox had 29. But this is a game where it's very difficult to get excited about, not just because of the four-game lo losing streak, but, again, we're playing a super depleted squad in the Thunder. Super depleted and they're essentially one of the worst teams in the NBA. Um, and so yeah, Lyles did great. I was happy for him. I was, I was, I was done with seeing uh, Mo start. And even Metu has his, moment, his moments, but he thinks he's the reincarnation of Kobe Bryant sometimes. Uh, so it was nice to see Lyles in there, but again, it was just a product of us just playing a bad squad. Who? What if Mo went in and tore it up? What if Metu went in and tore it up? We have no idea. So this is a game that I can't really take serious to take out the game of a uh, grain of salt as far as how good Trey did and how I don't take anything away from him and how the squad did but this was a team that you're really supposed to beat they want to lose so I hate to be the, the negative person the negative Nancy in the room but it is what it is uh, just call it as I see it 23 wins the Pelicans have 25 now I will say I do not think we're a better team than the Pelicans they have a pretty solid squad with uh, McCollum who's just killing it since he got there um, and then you have Brandon Ingram who's just a monster over there too uh, they have a really good squad uh, I, I, I just can't believe um, how fast they click they were such a horrible team in the beginning last uh, when the season started right now they're uh, my my the way I could see us making it is if the Pelicans just win 15 in a row they beat they beat the lakers pretty good last night um but when a bunch in a row they the lakers fall to the 10th and we can somehow suppress them even though technically we're more games behind them but the lakers t seem to be trending down i think the lakers will end up not wanting to do the playing thing they seem like they're out of it i think the lakers want to compete next year they're going to try to bring in all kinds of guys like they always try to do um but i don't think they're good i don't think they want a plan for us the, the plane's victory the lakers no they they're used to you know the glory whatever so i think the pelicans should overtake them and lakers is going to keep losing because i don't think lebron wants to even do the plan i think they're going to keep losing and one of us us the spurs whoever will surpass them um but we shall see we shall see great win tonight i'll take it Am I excited? No, because this is a game that you're supposed to win, and we had a little bit of trouble with that at first. Um, so we shall see. We shall see. It was sloppy at first, but we shall see. Next game is huge. We got the Pelicans and Spurs coming up. Those are the games. That, those are the teams that are ahead of us in the rankings. My thing is, if we lose to to them, let's just tank. Sit Sabonis, sit Fox, everybody. Let's just tank for a good pick next year. 
you're not going to make it if you lose to these teams. There's 19 games left. You fall, you lose to one of those teams, it's a full game. So you win. You win these two games, we're basically in that 10th spot, essentially. So this is huge. The next This, this week is huge uh, for the playing tournament. We'll see, though. I hope we can do it. I, I want this squad to make it. I, I'm, I'm ready for it. Let's do it. This is the hair.